Hi, it's Sarah and Eric, and today we're coming at you from our refrigerator. Ooh. In this video, we are bringing you one of our favorite comfort food recipes, the Frito Pie. But we're not just bringing you the classic Frito Pie, no, we think our version is much better. And if you stick around later in the video, we'll be sharing with you a bonus dessert recipe. But enough talking, let's start cooking. But wait a second, what even is Frito Pie? Well, that's a great question, Sarah. Believe it or not, it's not even a pie at all. Huh? Although it does have Fritos, it's more like a bowl of heavenly gold. Now, the origins are a bit of a uh, controversial, controversial. New Mexico claims that they're the first ones to ever invent it, but Texas says that this woman named Daisy Doolin doesn't get any more Texan than that. It has said to have created it in Houston, like in the 30s. So. Who knows? Fun fact, this is actually one of the first things, in fact, the first thing that we ever posted on our Instagram. So. Which you should check out. <laughs> our version of Frito Pie has three basic parts. There is chili, uh, mac and cheese, and then of course the Fritos. We're going to start off by making a really basic chili. For that, you will need a 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes, kidney beans, black beans, cannellini beans, smoked paprika and chili powder, an onion, and a few cloves of garlic. First off, we'll be slicing and dicing the onion. Fair warning, you will cry. Go ahead and put that aside. Next up, you'll be taking out all your frustrations on the garlic. Crush it and mince it. Pop a large pot onto the stove and turn it to about medium heat. Add in less oil than I did and toss your onions in. You'll want them to sizzle for about four minutes and then add in your garlic and cook for about another minute. Next, drain the diced tomato so that your chili will be nice and thick. Ah. Go ahead and plop those bad boys in. Then drop in all of the beans. For some reason, I was mixing with the spatula, which led to me smashing the beans. So you definitely do not want to do that. Just be a normal person and mix with like a spoon or something. Next up, you'll be adding in the spices. We normally don't uh, measure out anything. We sort of just wing it. So you'll want to uh, taste as you go. When it comes to the chili powder though, make sure you add plenty, at least two to three tablespoons worth. Now that the chili is simmering, it's time to make the mac. Boil up some water and measure out about two cups of your favorite pasta. But don't eat the dry pasta. I don't know what came over me. Time to get cheesy. Ah, why is this doing that? Add in two tablespoons of oil and three tablespoons of flour to medium heat. Mix well for about a minute and then add in a cup of unsweetened non-dairy milk. Now it's time to let these spices fly. Unleash your wrath upon the root. Be sure to stir constantly because nobody likes burnt cheese. Now it is essential to add in truckloads of nooch. As you can see, the cheese is looking creamy and luscious. Mmm. thought we were done? Wrong. We're adding chopped green onion and avocado on top. Ooh, perfect. <gasps> that was a little close, bro. <laughs> Damn, you son of a bitch. So it's gonna be like that, huh? This is freaking great. <laughs> it's so stuck. And finally, time to assemble. Okay, 
Okay guys, well this is the finished product here. I have to say I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, even though it is about 85 degrees inside our apartment. I'm gonna say this right now, this might be the greatest meal of all time. Can we eat? Um, you know what, no, you know what, let's just stand back and take in the smells and enjoy this moment, you know? Oh, okay. Thanks. Disclaimer, you should definitely eat this with a fork. Do not try going in with your hands. I mean, unless you, you're just by yourself alone and you've lost all hope for humanity, <laughs> then he's digging, I guess. Mm-hmm. Usually use Amy's chili instead of making our own, but I think this is definitely is an there. improvement yeah. over doing that. Let's get a little zoom in there. Mm. Beautiful. When I first learned about this, I was actually a little bit skeptical because I'm not she really was. I'm not really a person who com likes to combine my foods, but I can make an exception for this. For dessert, Sarah and I will be making floats. Now, if you don't know what a float is, it's basically uh, root beer mixed with ice cream. Problem is, root beer can be a bit heavy, and if you just got done eating a Frito pie, heavy is the last thing you need. So we decided to swap the root beer for some orange, orange soda, or the knockoff Sunkist. Grab a glass and some non-dairy vanilla ice cream and struggle to scoop it out with a spoon. Sneak a bite for yourself, we won't judge. far and you're not already subscribed to us maybe you should click that button you know it really supports our channel and makes us feel good on the inside instant gratification <laughs> these look toxic but they taste good so enjoy your floats wow how about that frito pie mm -hmm. we're giving it two uh, four thumbs up if you haven't tried this yet what are you waiting for? Because you're missing out on something beautiful, something life-changing. Well, that's it for us. Until next time. And yeah, we're out of here. All right. Bye.